Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. Lion, cheat in that s all they ever do analysis http ntv4x.com news id 58 c 668 2020 2012 55 13 pm traders buy dollars on wednesday another engineered takedown of the currency's amp metals nbsp good dia and a tub thump in a thursday to you the weather here has reverted back to late may like tempsa i was able to sit outside in the sun soaking up vitamin d for almost two hours before I succumbed to my daily call for a Napa. Well, I flipped a coin and it came up that I would continue reading Kurt Vonnegut's Slaughterhouse 5, IAVE got his book The Sirens of Titan queued up too and by the time I get through those, Eda LLB September, and the new CB Strike book will be getting delivered to me someone asked me the other day why I never mentioned that I read economics books or investment books uh, I replied a eh, I read for enjoyment a. Eh. NBSP not exactly a a morning song except if you can a t wake up a. But ACDC greets me this morning with their song back in black a well a two steps forward, and then a step backward a. Wednesday saw the currencies and metals drift most of the day until the afternoon, after the FEDA's meeting minutes were printed a. And then for some unknown reason, currency traders all bought dollar saw. The euro which had climbed to January 1935 saw a full figure taken from its value, and so on for the currencies. Gold got sold like funnel cakes at a state fair once again, and finished the day at 1,929A. Yet, Theta S.A. Far Y.S. down from the early morning price of $2.006A. And all because something spooked the market saw. I can tell you everything that was in the FEDA's meeting minutes was not what spooked the markets, for they had nothing but gloom to say about the economy ah they did mention that further monetary stimulus might be needed, and that could have been what cued the boys in the band to strike up a quarter but, the Fed heads, said that their staff had lowered the previous economic outlook ah. Did you read that the Fed has lowered their previous economic outlook ah? And traders bought dollars because of that what did someone put a pistol to their heads and demand they buy dollars well, we all know that did not happen, but metaphorically it could have very well happened a. I am just saying God Ed Steer, in his letter this morning, thinks that, as he calls them, Du Bois, bought dollars to rally the dollar index, and then that just carried over to their selling of gold amp silver. In the overnight markets and early this morning, Traders are selling dollars again. I know, I know, it makes no sense to me either but that s what s happening, right now, and gold has gained $18 and silver has gained back $48 cents in the early trading. So, it's a one-day event for the price manipulators, at NBSP OK, my rant is over a. Uh. What else is there in their quiver to use to kill rallies or will they simply continue to go back and use the same arrow you know the one where the PPT comes and buys dollars, spooks traders and they end up following along a NBSP the Fed had said what I thought they would say, and that is that the A economy is vulnerable a A. They did not report seeing any A green shoots a, and they basically sounded pretty dejected a. Oh, poor, poor Fed heads. All the king's men and, and all the king s horses could not put the economy together again a sooner or later, Eta LL all collapse under the weight of debt, and currency printing, but for now, we have to live with these weekly engineered takedowns of the currencies and metal saw. NBSP Well, did you hear that the Bank of Nova Scotia has agreed to pay a fine of $127 million after it was found that they had lied to regulators a couple of years ago? Uh? Spoofing gold amp silver futures was their Crimea. I am reminded of a Led Zeppelin song, that goes like this lion cheat in hood in that s all you seem to doa. And then the chorus is your time is going to Comey. NBSP oh how apropos for this bullion bank that decided a couple of months ago to get out the bullion business saw. NBSP Buta. Think about this for a minute because this rings true with every one of these a fines a that these casino banks receive for doing something unlawful a. I am sure that the Bank of Novia Scotia booked 5 to 10 times that amount of profit through the years, and this fine was a just a cost of doing business a a. Theta s their mantra, folks a. Do it until you get caught, then lie, through your teeth, until proof is provided, and then agree to a fine a. And, I A L L say this once more yeah. 
Until one of these dudes goes to jail, this will continue. Move on to the next casino bank, because if you really want to you could find them with their hands in the cookie jar toa and so on a for a tub thump in a Thursday, I am sure fired up today, at first I see the markets getting spooked, and then I read about another casino bank receiving a fine, instead of going to jail. -a. I throw my hand in the air, and scream, serenity now so, why don't a t we follow the guidelines in the constitution any longer because we ve grown into an empire. -a. The world s strongest military, the reserve currency, and the ability to print said currency until the cows come home. -a. For you history buffs a don't a t these things remind you of the Roman Empire a. I am just saying ga the difference is that the Romans did not have currency to print a instead they kept reducing the amount of silver in their coin saw. Same concept a. Debase their currency a. And do it, and at first, it seems to work, so you debase it a little more, and little more, and pretty soon, no one wants it for they have no confidence in its worth a we ll find this out sooner or later a. Okay so. How many know or aware of the libertarian Tom Woods I read his stuff all the time, and listen to his podcasts a. Uh. Yesterday he had a podcast with Representative Robert Massey, who I found is no fan of the Fosse burks tandem, and for a special treat today. So, now you know a. Uh. I listen to podcasts from Grant Williams, Tom Woods, and Condon Owens, and Dennis Pridra. And Theta S. Eda. U.S. Corporate Debt which five months ago was teetering on the cliff, and was soon to do their best imitation of Wiley Coyote. Couldn't T have known that the pandemic was going to be their savior. -a. But as was, and now they can go back to issuing more debt, because the Fed will just buy it if the sheeple don't at all. NBSP at the end of the first quarter a corporate debt issuance was up 9%, but those same corporations showed that corporate pre-tax profits were down 8.5%. And going into the second QTR they upped the ante, and now have issued more debt than at any time in the past. A and D. The gap between corporate debt and profit growth grows even wider A. But do our friendly neighborhood Fed head give this two thoughts I doubt Eda the AVE ruined the price discovery in the markets, and all the AVE done is kick the can down the road with these corporations and their debt A. They, the Fed and corporations, have gone a all ina on their thoughts the economy is going to come back strong a nbsp well, I don't a t think that a s ever going to happen as long as we have so much debt as a country a I went through the debt and its relation to the economy the other day, so I wanna t go through that again a. But this is a big risky bet, folks a, and the Fed just keeps the corporate bond window open a they should have a sign a you issue them, we buy and hold thema a. NBSP and in an attempt to keep you up to date regarding the plan to have us go to a cashless society uh, it was reported yesterday, that four Australian banks have removed their ADMSA and closed branches. Man I have to tell you that I really feel for my Aussie mates uh. When the bank down the street closed, the one that I had used as my personal ATM for years, I had to find a new ATMA. What a pain in the shoulder HA you thought I was going to say something else. Didn't a t you might as well just put a sign where the ATMs were that says, A no cash to distribute, digital currency is on the way a well, Eta s a tub thump in a Thursday, which means Eta s the day the weekly jobless claims print for the previous week a Eta lll be interesting if we start to see the numbers climb again with all the reclosings a. We lll also see the regional report from the Philly index, which should have backed off the previous month a s number a. And the leading indicators a. And theta s it to recapa. The Fed released their meeting minutes yesterday, and something spooked the market saw. Chuck believes it was the PPT buying dollars, and that spooked traders into thinking that theta s what they should be doing to us so, both currencies and metals lost a lot of ground yesterday afternoon, after the minutes were seen by everyone yeah. Chuck doesn't a t see anything in them that would give you a warm a fuzzy about owning dollars, but that never stops a price manipulator like the PT. Before we head to the big finish today, I wanted to spread some Chuckalisa. Good friend, Dennis Miller sent me a picture of New York Governor Andrew Cuomo and the caption reads you haul s number one salesman a. Four years in a row NBSP now theta s funya. Not for the folks in the state of Naya or, here a s your snippet a as we noted earlier, 
Treasuries erased gains and fell to session lows after minutes of the FOMC's July 29 meeting for several reasons first, the Fed's assessment of the economy was more downbeat than many had expected second, the fact that the Fed appeared to cool substantially on any imminent or even medium-term implementation of yield curve control third, the FOMC was silent on the prospect of changes to the size or composition of the central bank's purchases of Treasury securities. As Bank of America's Mark Cabana pointed out, notable that the minutes had no discussion of extending the duration of asset purchases, i.e. twist. This narrative had built considerably via media Amp Dudley speech leading into the meeting. Cabana is referring to the fact that in news conference that followed the July 29 meeting, Fed Chair Powell said the Fed's asset purchases running at an $80 billion a month pace in treasuries can be adjusted to increase support for the economy, leading to speculation that an increase in size or duration was discussed. Tom Roth, head of rates trading at SMBC Nico Securities echoed Cabana's reservations, saying that market reaction to the minutes is to what is not there, adding that the minutes also revealed widespread reservations among officials about the use of yield caps and targets. Following the disappointment from the lack of commitment to more QE, YCC, or twist, yields across the curve reached session highs, led by the long end, steepening the curve 10-year yield erased what remained of an earlier decline of as much as 2.4 BP and climbed as much as 1.8 BP on the day to reach 0.687% before stabilizing. The disappointment also propped up the dollar which extended gains as the minutes revealed that the FOMC saw only a modest benefit from yield caps and plans to keep securities purchases at their current rate. Chuck again, yeah, 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 excuses, excuses. The old football coach used to say, excuses never won a ball game for anybody, NBSP have the markets become so addicted to stimulus serenity now market prices 8 2020 American style $8.7168. Kiwi.6532, C$.7607, Euro 1.1847, Sterling 1.3145, Swiss 1.0984 dollars, European style RAN 17.1875, Krona 8.9337, 8.7344 Swedish Kronor, Forint 295.21, Zloty 3.7020, NBSP Corona 21.9722, Rub 73.20, Yen 105.88, Sing 1.3685, 7.7500 Hong Kong Dollars, INR 74.94, China 6.9148, Peso 22.17, BRL 5.4896, NBSP Dollar Index 92.92, Oil Dollar. 45.50, 10-year 0.65%, silver $27.19, platinum $922, palladium $2,032, and gold, $1,947.80 that s it for today, except a great big happy birthday to my darling daughter, Dawn. I want to say how old she is, but... She sure makes me feel old when she celebrates a birthday Dawn is a kindergarten teacher, and probably is the best at doing that there is last Friday, when I saw my former assist. Christine, she reminded me that her oldest son was born on Dawn's birthday, so happy birthday to him too well, the beautiful weather pattern we are currently in, looks like it will hold through the weekend. So I've got that going for me the late great. Leon Russell takes us to the finish line today with his version of the song This Masquerade. I always did enjoy the work of Leon Russell. Just saying. I hope you have a tub thumpin' Thursday, and a fantastico Friday tomorrow, and please be good to yourself. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, Text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at https://mt5.expert.advisors.